Hey guys, welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. I came across some information on the C8 mid-engine Corvette that has some interesting implications to previous C8 videos I've created, so let's talk about it. All right guys, so this video isn't gonna be very long. I came across two different pieces of information and then ultimately a 3D rendering from Chaz Cron that was pretty cool, so I figured I'd share it with you. But first, let's talk about the GT logo that I came across online. Now this was a patent filed by GM specifically for this GT logo. Now I will link up at the top right here the previous video I made talking about a user that had commented on the Corvette forum talking about the different models, one being a GS and one being a GT. Ultimately stood for Grand Touring and Grand Sport. Now with this particular patent being filed, now all of a sudden, that stuff being posted starts to kind of make more sense. I thought originally whenever I read it, it made a lot of sense and it actually kind of painted a picture of what we're really going to get. And now with this coming out, now it solidifies everything that he stated as being that much more possible. Now apparently this GT emblem, the patent for it, was actually filed in July of 2016. Now that was obviously over two years ago now at this point, but it was filed alongside the patent for the next thing we're going to talk about, which is the hatch cover for the C8 mid-engine Corvette. So basically, when they filed this GT patent, they already knew they were building the C8 mid-engine Corvette, and they already had some other patents filed as well. Now, secondly, here is going to be, like I said, the patent for the hatch on the back of the C8 mid-engine Corvette. It is literally vented, so it will literally push air through and hot air out. Now, this isn't necessarily something groundbreaking, but what it tells me is GM has been working on this design for quite some time. At this point, this particular patent was filed over two and a half years ago, and at that point, even though it was filed two and a half years ago, we, you still probably have a year, maybe more, of actual R&D in just this patent. So this is something that's been in the works for quite some time. I mean, I, I know we know about Zora back in the, in the early years trying to do the mid-engine as well, but this is something GM's been cooking up in the more recent years, but still has been working on it for a while. Basically, what we're looking at with this hatch is literally a piece of glass in the middle and vented frame around the outside edge. GM specifically says there is going to be included magnesium mesh within the frame, at least for some configurations. So my guess is probably the Grand Sport will be the one that gets the magnesium mesh because that helps a lot with heat dissipation. And as we know from that previous leak, the Grand Sport is going to be the performance model of the Corvette released. Now really, both of these patents being released in July of 2016 isn't anything new, isn't anything groundbreaking, but the fact that they were released that long ago and coincide with each other tell me, obviously GM's been working on this for a while, but it also factors into the leak that I reported on not too long ago, talking about the GT and the GS versions of this car. It's interesting to see all this stuff come together, and when it does, it just makes a lot of sense. It really starts to make it seem like what we're hearing is the truth, and this is really starting to paint a picture of what this car is going to be. After reading this stuff, I'm more inclined to believe that the leak I reported on the other day is actually pretty true. Um, odds are good, most of what was stated in there is going to be what we get. And it's interesting to finally start to get some information on this car that could be considered solid. Now that's really all I got for you guys. So after that, I'm going to put a video in here again, like I said, from Chaz Cron on the mid-engine Corvette forum. He has a lot of great renderings out there. This particular one is a 3D rendering of the entire car and it looks fantastic. So I'll leave you guys with that. But if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, shoot them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next upload.